Thank you, Jim, and uh, good afternoon, folks. And uh, I'm just grateful that there's enough interest in our communities to see this kind of a turnout for issues that are important to all of us. I get two quick announcements. One of them is Pennsylvania Leadership Conference. Those that you come to our meetings regularly are well aware of it. But I just want to make a brief announcement that we are having reserved tables up there for Berks County Patriots. If you're interested in sitting with the Patriots and you have not signed on to be part of that, why there's a sign-up sheet back there. I downloaded all the information that uh, you can see what it's all about. But in a nutshell, it's a two-day event, April 8th and 9th. We already have 20 people that paid and signed up as Berks County Patriots. We have two full tables and four more people will fill a third table. If you want to be one of those four to be part of those three tables for the main dinner event on Friday evening, uh, be, be, uh, go back there and sign up and give your name and number and I'll talk to you later to give you all the particulars that you need to know. If you only think you want to come, sign it anyway and I'll explain it to you. But we want to have a major showing up there from the Berks County page to let them know who we are and we are supporting the, uh, the cause of, of constitutional liberties and constitutional conservatism. You'll see a lot of folks up there that uh, have been around a long time in this country, leading edge of changing the way, the direction that the government is going. And, and I just, uh, a couple of comments about the kind of people you should see up there. Um, we've had people that have spoken here uh, Loman Henry, uh, Frank Ryan, uh, others that uh, slipped in mind at the moment, uh, Katie Abram. These folks are all part of that Berks, uh, uh, Pennsylvania Leadership Conference, and they'll be speaking, there'll be seminars, there'll be main speakers. The main speaker Friday night is Dr. Krauthammer, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be a packed house. I think last year it was over 600 and they had to move to another motel this year because they didn't figure 600 would hold the crowd, but you'll really enjoy the weekend if you're interested. I leave it at that. The sign-up sign -up sheet is back there before you leave. Be my guest. Second more uh, an issue every bit as important is uh, where we're going as this organization legislatively. Uh, I and others have been so busy with these events that the Legislative Committee has been dragging its feet. I've been dragging my feet. We are going to have a meeting in the next two weeks and we are going to get the ball rolling on these issues. Uh, we've, over the last year, we've mentioned some of the major issues that are concerning regarding the budgets, regarding freedoms, regarding border security. Uh, all of those issues are important. I sent a survey around to get responses from the members. If you've signed the survey already and sent it in, what's important to you, fine. If you didn't do it yet, there's still time. Uh, you can go to the survey that we've emailed around, or if uh, you don't recall you getting it or you forgot you got it, well, I just email our website man and he'll send it to you again. But we've uh, interviewed all the folks in our organization to see what the priorities are. And I can tell you what, the, and it was at least uh, 15 different priorities I mentioned, uh, some of them uh, very briefly, without going into a, a lengthy one, but uh, taxpayer protection, um, public pensions, property tax, uh, size of the legislature, school choice, teacher strikes, business climate, prevailing wage laws, it goes on, illegal immigration. I, I can tell you this, survey come back, and the number one issue after one year of us having these meetings trying to educate the public, the number one issue that came back was the spending of governments. It's just too much and we can't afford it. One of the next, the next two, I guess, would be property tax and illegal immigration. And we're here today to discuss that. So the fact of the matter is that uh, government spending and illegal immigration the connection is there folks we know how many billions of dollars it's costing us and I'm sure the guest speakers today will go through that but be that as it may the one thing under my crawl is uh, we we re redid at least three of those res resolutions we already wrote 
uh, taxpayer protection, property tax, and uh, public pensions. Right to work might have been a fourth, but those along with 10 or 12 others, we had one of our patriots who's on the, on the state committee of the Republican Party. I'm not connected with the Democrats, I'm a Republican. So I would love to have a Democrat that says, what can I do to help my party? Boy, see me. I'm pretty much a nonpartisan guy, but right now I have the door open in the Republican Party. Uh, I look at the Democrats as part of the problem more than the solution. I look at the Republicans as basically impotent. They don't know how to solve the problem. So I'm not choosing sides, but I can tell you, uh, Jim Kelly, is Jim Kelly here? Jim Kelly said he would try to be here, but Jim Kelly carried our, our resolutions to the state committee. Okay, I'm told he's back there. Uh, those resolutions and a lot more, some of I mentioned, were turned over to the state committee for action to the resolutions committee, and all of those, important as they are, the resolution committee disregarded every one of them. Not important. The Republican State Committee is impotent. They don't understand the problems we have or how to deal with them. They don't want to attack the problem. They don't want to put public uh, officials to, the, to the, uh, the pressure of doing something about them. And I am livid. I can tell you that Jim Kelly is livid. We as grassroots got to start at the bottom. From the top down isn't working. From the bottom up is going to work. My legislative committee, our legislative committee, is going to start working on these problems. We're going to be attacking politicians. They're going to get on board of these bills, or we're going to have another, as Obama put it, uh, a bloodbath or, or a shellacking. It's going to be a shellacking again in 2012, both parties, unless they get on board. So I encourage you to stay with us, and especially in March, that we can collectively focus our issues, focus our attention on what is most important. I've mentioned some of them. And thank you very much.